In this session, I will demonstrate how the basic set reset knowledge works. Here on tialab.com, the first thing we will do is click on the board to energize the circuit. Now that we have energized the circuit, let's run through the truth table, starting with the input conditions where set is 0 and reset is 1. As you can see, when reset is on or 1 and set is 0 or off, Q is 0 and not Q is on, as shown on the truth table. From this set of input conditions, we will go back to set equals to 0 and reset equals to 0 so we can understand what happens to the output. Nothing happened to the output. In other words, the output remain whatever it was before we went to set 0 and reset 0. And so we say the output of the function latch or it did not change. Now let's go to the case or the input condition where set is equals to 1 and reset is equals to 0 to see what happened to the output. Here the Q goes high or to 1 and not Q goes low or to 0 as the truth table shows. And if we were to go from this set of input condition to when S and R are both 0, we should expect the function to latch again. In other words, for the output to remain the way it is right now. Let's see. You see, when we go from any sort of condition to 0, 0, the output should undergo no change. The fourth set of input condition is when both the set switch and the reset switch are on or set to 1. Let's see. R is 1, S is 1, and we see that both of the outputs are equal to 0 or to off or to low. We call this particular input condition invalid. And the reason we say it's invalid is because in real application we never set a system and reset the system at the exact simultaneous time. Any system is either reset or set at any given time. And so we call this configuration of the circuit invalid. Your professor probably also used the term don't care. For more information on the operation and function of this circuit, visit us at tialab.com. That's tialab.com. And when you come visit us, you will find that we provide an extensive analysis of every circuit. We show you how to derive the truth table, for example. We also show you how to get the Boolean expression of the circuit. And depending on what your professor expects, we also show you how to get the state transition table of the circuit and 
the state transition diagram. Thank you for watching this session of TILab.com.